Ordinary, informal, everyday settings are important to many prairie artists, as well as creating meaning that is shared amongst a community. This is the very definition of vernacular. These prairie artists often create work about daily life, and for many, that was a rural one. Intimate portraits of the annual round of country events, such as Frank Sikansky's Grain Wagon, are plentiful. Victor Sikansky's father, Frank, and Joe Fafard's mother, Julianne, were both vernacular artists. They predisposed Sikansky and Fafard to a vernacular aesthetic and an earnest drive to make objects and images. There are a number of examples of family connections in the exhibition. Victor Sikansky's practice has consistently been connected to prairie earth, referencing gardens and pantries of his Romanian immigrant family and childhood neighborhood of Garlic Flats in East Regina. Farm animals are an everyday subject as well. Joe Fafard's Pieta and his earthenware bull celebrate their agricultural subjects, elevating and honoring their prairie identity. In Layla Armstrong's Coyote Factory and Hawk on a Farmhouse, we see that she has reversed the relative sizes of animals and landscapes, suggesting the overlooked significance of these wild but increasingly human-acclimated creatures within the now people-dominated prairie. Throughout the exhibition, we discover other aspects of daily life, ordinary people engaged in work and leisure, gardening, food preparation, community activities like games, sports and dances, activities on farms and ranches, businesses, churches, and main streets in villages and towns. Thauberger has paid tribute to vernacular artists in his work Prairie Sentinel, Winter Sentinel. The light box reveals a grain elevator that transitions from day to night and summer to winter and is a direct homage to William McCarger. McCarger repeatedly painted this subject matter with the same perspective in different times of day and in different seasons. Thauberger's strategy of utilizing low art or craft media is adopted from California funk as much as it is from vernacular art. For example, his use of glitter in the work Powerline. McCarger also shared a use of glitter in his work. Thauberger's Powerline depicts unpopulated streetscapes often found in everyday rural life, but his use of glitter and an often candy-colored palette personalizes each building. They are deserted, but less somber than some of the other prairie street scenes found in the exhibition. Thauberger discovered vernacular art when he returned to Saskatchewan and worked for the Saskatchewan Arts Board. He recalls coming across a painting by William McCarger titled Sun's Glorious Set. According to Thauberger, at first he thought it was the ugliest painting he had ever seen. But the painting stayed in his mind for days afterwards, capturing his curiosity, so he hung it over his desktop to live with it and unravel its intrigue. Thauberger helped to bring attention from curators to the work of McCarger, Harvey McInnes, and others. In the mid-1970s, the Regina artists began experimenting with screen printing through the Grand Western Canadian Screen Shop in Winnipeg. Founded by artist Bill Lobchuk, the screen shop opened its doors in 1968, the first printmaking shop of its kind in Western Canada. Lobchuk was born in Nipawa, Manitoba and studied at the University of Manitoba in Winnipeg. He has always played an active role in advocacy for the arts. Leonard Anthony became a partner at the Grand Western Canadian Screen Shop in 1973. He worked collaboratively with numerous printmakers in Winnipeg for years. In 1974, he introduced silkscreen printing to the Inuit artists of Baker Lake, Nunavut. His last 15 years of life were spent in Elma, Manitoba, which he described as paradise, enjoying the trees, river, animals, and especially the birds which figure prominently in his work. The printmaking shop staff throughout the years included many of Winnipeg's up-and-coming artists like Don Proch, Tony Tascona, and Chris Finn. Fafard, Thauberger, Sikansky, and Euricity were among many prominent Canadian artists that produced work at the screen shop. It allowed for an artistic exchange between these Regina and Winnipeg artists in the creation of works that reflected a shared prairie sensibility. 
Learn more about the other themes in the exhibition and the rest of the AGSM Art Connects video series, which brings you up close and personal to works of art as you meet artists from the prairies.